This is the story of a man who never belonged anywhere, whose backyard is the world, whose ways of life are the dreams of escape for those who want action but never find it. The man, John Steele, adventurer. Big world, lot of people. Like the man says, takes all kinds. So I wasn't especially surprised when a mutual friend told me Joe. Big Joe was fresh in from Europe with a pile of dough and ideas just as big. Joe King. Joe was in town looking for me. I'd never particularly cottoned to Joe, but the mutual friend gave me the hotel and told me to call. Drink, smoke, name it. Take what you want, take a seat. Open house, huh, Joe? Ah, <laughs> King. King. Uh, still with that, huh? <laughs> King, yeah, sure. My name is that my name, King. It's also Joe. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Hooch. Yeah. Ross? Smoke. Mm-hmm. Fill your pockets, drink, smoke, be happy, happy, kid. Now, sit. Anything you want? Sure. Hungry? Steak? Want me to send down for a sirloin? Rolling out the rug, huh? <laughs> for you, you anytime. Sure, sure. Sit. Uh, all I can say is... Uh-huh. Ought to happen more often. <laughs> sure. Only, uh, uh... What's all this gonna cost me? Cost? What are you after? What's the angle? Oh, now, that nice. That what you think of me. Am I hurting your feelings? Well... Twelve-year-old scotch... High on the rocks, dollar cigars. It's not like you, Joe. Ha <laughs> ha, king, king. Uh, no, no, John, not hurting my feelings. After all, say when did I ever step on your toes? <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did, huh? Me and the whole company. Company? The whole regiment. Okay, okay, so I gypped, so I was a little bit of a crook. So I helped myself to cigarettes when Cigarettes? I... Okay, lots of things when I was supply clerk. Other times, other places, maybe I didn't know any better. Drink up, bygones. Still got a whole bygones against me, Steel. Hmm, good. <laughs> Still gonna scotch smells real good. Just want you to know, Joe. You're gonna keep calling me. Joe. Take more than this to change my mind about you and some of the things you did. That's plain. It's good drink, but bad manners. Me, I mean. Shouldn't take a man's whiskey and call him a crook. You want me to go now? I <laughs> have another. No, I like a guy who comes right out plain and says it to you. Yeah. What I remembered about you. I like that. Right out plain. You do, huh? I like a guy looks you in the eye and whammo tells you. <laughs> sure. King, you're a crook. Only now I'm changed, uh-huh. Changed, huh? Uh-huh. No more, no more. Not me straight, square, clean Sunday school. I'm strictly Sunday school, open book. It's good to hear. Straight, square me. You hear from there from here on in. What do you want with me? About an island. Why don't you come take a look? Now, what? wait, you got to believe no crooked schemes. And I bought an island for me to retire. Yeah, just for me. I got all the money I need. Uh, and I want you to come take a look. I went. I don't know why. I still didn't trust King. It's hard to trust a guy when you remember him taking everything that wasn't screwed down tight. Taking from his buddies. But there was something in his face, a new kind of look, a proud look that took away his old, narrow kind of hungry pinch. It made me curious. It made me think, who was I to set myself up as a judge? Sure, people change. It made me want to go look. Hey, hey, Kramer! Where's that old guy with the boat? Your boat? No, no, I'm having one built. Kramer, the old guy with a putt putt furry stuff around for the orchard farmers. In and out of these uh, inland channels? Supplies. Uh, that your island out there? Now, wait, you can't see nothing from here. Kramer! How far is she out? Four miles, I think. Come on, Kramer, we ain't gonna get along doing things like this around here. I like to move. Four miles out, eh? Four and forty-four. I know what you're thinking, and I'm telling you to forget it. I was only... Forget uh... it. No drugs, no gun, and no immigrant running. I know all the offshore border rackets. I'm not interested. Okay, you say. Sure. I'm straight. I got mine. I got what I wanted. Now I got the island. So stop thinking crooked stuff. <laughs> Helped him load, him and Kramer. Load the battered old motor scow. Supplies. Every conceivable kind, size, shape, and description of supplies. Supplies for building, provisions for living. And I couldn't help noticing a lot of the supplies were all GI war surplus, and a lot of the rest came from Europe with foreign labels I couldn't make out. So I studied something I could read, King's face. A narrow pinched look, a look I remembered from his thieving days. 
It was coming over him again, pulling in his cheeks tight so the bones stood out sharp. And his eyes glittered bright, bright and green like the restless ocean waves. Okay. Okay, guys. Here. Yeah. Here there. Uh -huh. Get the whole beach. Drop the cases. Okay, Kramer. You, uh, stay in here. My helmet is missed. Sure. Sure, of course. Yeah, mine. Wait. Wait, he acts. Huh? Just keep the fresh milk and meat and butter coming like I ordered, Kramer. Keep your questions to yourself. Think. Thinks he's got me where he wants me. Just because I still am, I got my boat. Huh? Thinks I need him. You hear? You hear? Keep it coming. Sure. Sure, will. You old jerk! Don't call him that, huh? He's an old man. Well, him and those farmers, his farmer friends of his, all along the shore. Fruit and vegetable farm. Yeah, yeah, I saw him. Well, the first minute they saw me come down to the shore to the village, their village, the mainland over there. What about them? Well, the way they look at me. What's the matter? I'm jerk. I got marks on me. I pollute this place. What's the matter? My money no good? I paid cash. I paid the ten grand deposit down in cash. Back in the city. I got the right. Just the deposit? Deposit, yeah. I got 30 days. Thought you owned the place. I got a month to make up my mind. Put in the balance. Oh. How do I know I'm going to like it? 50 acres, bushes, trees, a big old stone hut right up there in the hill. Looks like a fine old house to me. Big old, like a jail. Built them to last in those days. I don't know. Huh? How many acres, I say? Uh, you said 50. That a lot? I ain't no farm boy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not too big. Oh, said nobody was on here. Deserted. That's what the broker said. Deserted for years. I, uh, I never been alone in a place like this before. That's the idea here, isn't well, it? Well, of course I do all right. Did all right my own deals, but always did all right making my own deal cities. But you know, in the big cities, uh -huh. cities, you know, big cities learn how to operate in one. You, <laughs> you get by in the mall only, only never, not, not, not like here. Well. Well, we just going to stand here on the beach? No, no, I, I, I guess no. Get dark, won't it? Are you afraid? What? Well, yeah, I can like it. Well, I don't know these things. Why well, I wanted you along. Why did you decide you wanted an island? See, you show me, huh? You show me things, these things. You know what to do. Well, let's start with the supplies. Get them up to that house. Pretty soon we need something to eat. Sure, that's it. See? Uh, why I wanted you along, John? Why? Why I wanted you? The beginning of danger and a peace of the unknown. There's much of these when in a moment we hear more in the story of John Steele, adventurer. Why do you want the island? King, the city guy, who even in the army was a crook. Why was he afraid? I knew he was afraid. The way he kept behind me when we started carrying the first load of supplies up from the sandy beach, always behind me, letting me lead the way through the thick green undergrowth, told me he was afraid. He was afraid, but I knew he was no coward. A couple of times when things had gone bad in the war, and the supply men, the cooks, the clerks, the bakers, had been handed guns and rushed in, he'd done all right. He'd held his square yard. He'd been a petty thief, but he hadn't been afraid. He was afraid. Now... What's the matter? Matter? Not. Why, you stop. Thought you might want to take the lead, breaking a path for once. Gee. Go ahead, he is still playing a little angle, letting me take the scratches. Vic, your island, you take the lead. Bug. Get, get out of here. Big bug in the world, all around. Look at them crawling, jumping, flying, stick of thieves. <laughs> well, what's funny? So that's what's been bothering you. Why, look at. Get! I hear my arms bite, crawl all over. Get, I said. <laughs> Sorry, it's steel. Out of these bushes. Start. Up the house. I'm not going to get out of these bushes so easy. Huh? Place has been let go too long. It's going wild. No, not around the house. Saw the picture in the book. Real estate book. Gardens, landscape like the monkey mucks, like a duke. Okay, take a look. But down on the beach, when, when you look up here from the water... You only saw the top of the house. 
Take a look, I said. Bushes. I would be going through. Bushes and... Get... Get... Get out! Get away from me! It's only a bee. Get... It's a honeybee. Please, it's lousy with bees. What about the house? Where's the house? What do you mean, take a look? Stick out your arm. Huh? Right through these. Bushes. Huh? Cold. Uh-huh. Hard stone. Can't be. Bushes, bushes, right up to the house. Where's the door? Go ahead, lead. Steal along the side. Come on, will you? These bees. The bees are around my head. Leave, will you? Get me out of here. Leave. Find that door. Behind me. Slipping and sliding, almost dropping his supply crate, sliding forwards into me, almost making me drop mine. He kept on, pulling, pushing, tearing, twigs, leaves, branches, thorns, and brambles, ripping into my arms, my neck, my cheeks. I kept on going, my right shoulder up against the stone wall, and from all around, from overhead, I heard the angry sound of bees. Come on. Come on, ain't gonna sting me. Ain't gonna chase me. I ain't afraid I'll pick them. My place, my island. Find the door, for heaven's sakes, I'll pick them. So wait, first... Find that door. Hold. Come on, hold up, hold up. These bees. Come on, in through here. Get the bees out of here. Come on, quick. That's I found the step. I, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. It's the front of the house here. There. There's your door. Steps here. All coming with this green stuff, Moss. Watch as it slippery as Moss. I'm all right. Yeah, door. For me, that's what I want. Get in that door. Come on, come on. Here, across the veranda. The bees. Watch where you're going. There's a hole, a hole in the stone floor here. Bees. Gone, huh? Got the key? Put the kitchen down here. Gone. <laughs> I'll fix all those bugs. You got it? Here. Oh, it's big. It's a big key. Here. My place. Uh-huh. Mine, I put down the dough. Bugs, bees, all them birds, I'll fix them. They ain't gonna stay here. Sure. Oh. I ain't no outdoors man. What's the idea? They got no right being around here. King of the hill, huh? What's mine's mine, I'll fix them. They got no right to be here. <laughs> the door. <laughs> Locks open, but the door's uh, fixed. I think I'm dumb. I got it. I got the stuff. I've got the real stuff, sure. Hey, stuck. Come on, give me a hand with the door. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, well, dark. Dark, sure. All the windows boarded up. Well, your house. Uh, yeah, sure, only you. Right behind you. You're going in. Look out. On the ceiling, on the walls, crawling. <laughs> Let me out of here. Spiders, house spiders. Let me out. <laughs> they won't hurt you, King. Come back here. You saw the spiders. The big furry house spiders that had taken over the old Stone Island mansion. He saw them crawling the walls, and he ran. I ran after him, but he disappeared. Disappeared into the crazy, wild overgrowth that covered the heart of the island right down to the sandy beach. I slowed up. He had no boat. The island wasn't big, and I had enough cuts and scratches. I tried to find the path I'd broken on the way in. I found it and started down, slow, down toward the beach. I took my time, ducking branches and bush twigs. Then my nose began to tickle, smell. It made me sneeze, and my eyes began to water. I was caught in some kind of mist, a green, oily mist coming at me through the bushes, settling down over the trees, and all of a sudden it got hard to breathe. Spark. Spark. Come at me, huh? <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. Wait, this is the king. I'll show you. I'll fix you. Mine, you hear? This place is mine. What it's going to be. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. I heard him, but I couldn't see him. The oily green mist was coming thicker. The air was shiny and greasy green. My eyes were burning. My tongue tasted like I was sucking iron and I couldn't breathe. I put my handkerchief over my face and drove through the bushes toward the hissing sound. But the sound of him. <laughs> Crazy, what's the idea? Soldier, turn off. Turn that off. Soldier, fix them. Turn that sprayer off, or I'll... Hey, listen. You're going to turn it off. 
turn it off. Don't just tell me. I'm, I tell you, I break your... Uh, break your head, you go knocking me around. I said, knock it around my thing. Come on. Come on. Oh, turn it off. Okay. Who? <laughs> Only next <laughs> time. Don't come <laughs> in your hands at me. You jerk. What'd you call me? A dumb jerk. What do you know about these things? You can get right off this island, Buster. Call your guy. Sure. Call the man with a boat. I'll get you. Okay, I'll bang the bell. My eyes are so bad I can't see ten feet. Go ahead, smart guy. This time you lead. Call that man you pay. I'll be glad to get off your stinking island. <laughs> Suspense and action. One leads to the other. And the result we'll hear in a moment with the climax of another adventure with John Steele. This time, Joe did lead the way. But not before he picked up his portable sprayer. He was like the type of man who needs a gun. With a sprayer in his hands, he wasn't afraid. We went down to the little old wharf, and he started clanging the bell. I kneeled down and splashed my face with seawater. The salt in the water made my face and hands burn, but it cut and dissolved the oily chemical off my skin and out of my eyes. I shook the water out of my eyes, and I started to get up. And I saw them, inches from my face in the water, flat on their backs, floating by. Say, uh, Steele, if anybody's got a right to blow a stack once in a while, I'm... Uh... I'm sorry about the bus play. Uh huh. I didn't know you were in there so close getting hit by the spray. Sure. Sure. Then forget it, huh? About, about me telling you to go, to get off. Anyway, I've been ringing the bell and I don't see no sign of old man Kramer coming. Look for yourself. No boat will come across. Say, uh, think you're sick of something? Look up. You look. You're nuts. Me look at the water? Where'd you get that spray? Just bug spray? Where? Hey, my business where? Is there something the matter? I don't see nothing of the... Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it worked. That's what you mean. Yeah, I see them. Bugs, dead bugs, floating. <laughs> Who are good? Why, you... Right, you... I ought to... Bugs, huh? Hey, you're starting up again. Just bugs. Now, uh, listen... You're just going to get me sore let's again. Go, but you better let go of my shirt, Buster. I'll let you go, but maybe Uncle Sam won't. What? Those are bees. Bees you kill. Bees, sure. Stinger bees. Honey bees. <laughs> they ain't going to sting no more. No more, sure. Ain't that right? You don't know, do you? Know what? Say, what do you mean about Uncle Sam? Where'd you get that spray? You mean duty? Customs duty bringing it in? I, uh... <laughs> I got a lot of stuff in. You did, huh? Sure. My business. Say, my island. Can I kill a few bugs, make it livable if I want? Oh. What do you mean about Uncle Sam? Come on, I don't want no trouble. I'm just a guy. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Sure, I just want to settle down. No harm, so I speak some German and other stuff in past customs. <laughs> stuff I got cheap. <laughs> no harm in that. No. Huh? Uh, hey, hey, who are those boats? Look at all them boats. Look at all them boats coming. Yeah. Hey, what's the matter? I didn't call them the boats. No harm, huh? Tell them. Huh? Hey! Hey, you guys, I've come all the boats! Look at them, dozens of boats. Now they rang the bell for old man Kramer. Old man Kramer told him what the boats coming to ring the bell. Hey, hey! Hey, we're all right! What are they doing? Why do you shut up your motors? Hey, hey! Hear me, thanks! Thanks! That's real service, but we're all right! Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? They guess? So why are they looking all over in the water? They've been bending, looking in the water all the way over there. Uh-huh. What? Well, what are they looking for? You don't get it, huh? Like you. Like you were looking. Now, why are they all of a sudden looking up at us? They don't like this. All of them out there just looking, sitting in their boats. Hey! Duck, duck, duck. A gun, one of them's aiming. Get down, flat, duck. I... Shooting. I saw what was old man Kramer shooting at us. They won't shoot again. No, no, huh? No. How do you know? They're crazy. Why they shoot anyway? What do we do? Why are they sitting out there floating around looking at us like that? Just keep quiet. I didn't know. I didn't know there was people like that. I didn't ever come. They're just farmers. Farmers. Farmers go around shooting innocent people. Innocent, huh? Huh? 
Good, hard-working fruit farmers. Now, what are they all doing? Kramer, what's waving to them? Oh, start. That's good. They all like this. I changed my mind. I'm going to get off here. You hear? I'm going to get off here. I have trouble doing that. Telling nobody. Okay, suit yourself. See you. I know. Just sit down, squat. You've been telling me that all day. But you won't do what I tell you. All day? Ten days? We ain't up the last of the food. I know. I know. Yesterday. Get a string. Get some fish. Fish? Only fish I see are dead. Like the bees. You gonna stop with that again? You win. Okay. Keep your mouth shut. Uh, why are you taking off your clothes? I don't think they're gonna come. You gonna... Yeah, you're... yeah. I'm gonna swim. You don't plan to lie around here and starve. They got no right. They got no right for ruining me. They've got other kinds of rights. Yeah? Uh-huh. Two kinds. Laws. You got pretty far making fun of laws. <laughs> Get out of this one. Okay, okay. So there's a law regulating insecticides. Laws are rules. Yeah, yeah. You told me. You willing to tell? I don't care about a couple of cans bug spray. They do when it kills bees. Okay, okay. So I was a jerk. I didn't know. Bugs, bees. I didn't know. I didn't know you need bees to grow fruit. You really gonna swim? Swim and maybe turn me in? All you understand, huh? I tell you, you can't. I can't tell them. I told you it ain't the cans of bug sprays. It's the other stuff. What other stuff? The other stuff I swindled in. Would you... I know them. I know them, inspectors. Once I tell them how and where I got the bug spray, they want to know the whole thing. What whole thing? No. Okay. How do I know they won't turn me in? Turn me in for the war. They give me a temperature. The whole thing's crazy. What do I care about a bug spray? I didn't ever take it. You think I smoke a bug spray in? Only, only what? The guy, the guy in Europe, my contact, guy I worked with. Sure, smuggler, smuggler like me. He put it in. Flavor, present, you know, little flavor, new kind. He said, powerful stuff, a nerve gas thing. He just threw it in when I told him I was going to get an island. An island, huh? He used for more smuggling. No, no, sir, help me. I got mine. I, I, I it was in my head all these years. A place. I wanted a place. I'm sick of people. I just wanted a place. Where you could be king. You gotta believe me. I got all I need. Rocks. Pure whites. Back in town. I got them in a place where you think I got the money. All this money. I'll give you some. Only don't leave it. Stay with me. I can't tell the government about the spray. They'll learn about the rocks, the diamonds. Help me. Stay with me, Steel. Don't... No, don't swim. Don't leave me. Come back. Come back. Come back. So long, King. I left Joe King, but he wasn't alone for long. A government cutter rolled in and picked him up for questioning by agricultural experts, summoned by those local farmers. Yes, there is a law, or laws, regulating insecticides that kill necessary insects. It's a good set of laws. It comes from a lot older law, the natural law about the mutual dependence of species. Yes, it takes bees to make honey. But it also takes bees to make fruit, legumes, and even pretty ornamental plants. And when you kill a bee, like an old farmer friend of mine once put it, you kill me. Taking a standby for adventure with John Steele. In a moment, John Steele returns with more of his story. Starred as John Steele on this transcribed adventure was Don Douglas with Phil Sterling. Script was by Peter Irving, and the entire production was under the direction of Robert Monroe. 
Of course, all names and characters heard are fictitious, and any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. But here again is John Steele. Well, friends, that's it. King of the Island. The story of a man who took what he wanted and laughed at law and thought that set him apart from everybody else. Speaking of islands reminds me of a fishing trip I once took off the south shore of Long Island, the fast-growing second home for New Yorkers. The boat we fished from was called Lady, a trim, sleek craft that knew only trouble. It's a real adventure I like to call A Date with the Lady. So until next week, then, and A Date with the Lady. This is John Steele saying, Adventure is like the fizz in your soda. It tickles your nose, but you won't do without it. <laughs> <laughs>